friend welcome to lambda krishna sandeep channel so in this video we'll see one important java program how to print elements of an array so there are seven seven different ways which i'll be showing to print elements in an array okay so i created a class and then i created a main method and uh, first what we will do is we'll use arrays dot as list method and for each with lambda expression to loop through the elements of an array so i've created a main method right so now what i'll do i'll create a string array one Two, comma three, and let's call. It is dot as list arr dot for each okay element and just say system dot out dot print ln element so this is how we use this is the first method suppose we have created an string array and initialized with elements 1 2 3 and we are calling arrays dot as list and then taking the input array so which internally it converts into list and on this list what we are doing we are calling for each and inside this for each we are using the lambda expression and looping through the each element and printing the element so let's run the program and see the output so if you see one two three so this is the first method now let's go to the second method so in this method what we will use is we will use arrays dot stream okay we will use arrays dot stream arrays dot stream dot Errors dot stream arr dot for each and then call system dot out dot print ln and this is the second way arrays dot stream and here we are giving the input array and inside this we are calling for each and finally what we are doing we are calling system dot out dot print ln now let's run the program and see the output you see one two three so this is like method 2 and like method 1 and then now we will see the third method we have seen two methods now let's go to the third method using stream dot off method so stream dot off of array and then we'll use for each Arrays dot stream or just say stream dot of array dot for each element 
system dot out dot println and then finally print the element so i'm just copying this array here you see what we are doing system dot off steam dot off so what this steam dot off will do it will create it returns an sequential ordered steam whose elements are specified values so these are i mean it will create a stream with these values and on this stream what we are doing we are calling for each okay on this stream we are calling for each and we are taking input as one element i mean and then printing each element so let's run the program and see the output so when here what we will do we'll just say method 3 and here what we will do we'll say method 1 and method 2 and here what we will do here what we will do here we'll say method 1 sorry not here so this is method one and this is method so this is method two here system out print lm now let's run the program and see the output method 1 method 1 method 2 method 3 1 2 3 and method 3 1 2 3 so these are the three different ways and let's go to the fourth method using a traditional for loop for int i equal to 0 i less than array dot length i plus plus so this is the traditional for loop which we will be using now so how do you use the traditional for loop here for int i equal to 0 i less than array dot length i less than array dot length i plus plus area of I. Now let's run the program and see the output. Okay, one, two, three got printed. This is the traditional for loop. Now let's go to the next method and we'll use here enhanced for loop. Okay, so method four, method five. So here what we will do is for string element arr system dot out dot print ln element and here call as element sorry method five. So this is like um, one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth method. Let's run the program and see the output. So this is using the enhanced for loop. Okay. Here we'll not maintain any indices in enhanced for loop. What we just do is we iterate through the each element using the colon operator, and then we'll print the output next sixth method is what we'll use arrays dot okay arrays dot two string method so this is the sixth method so here we are using two string method arrays dot two string method so string one two three four so how we'll print just say system dot out dot print alarm arrays dot two string of arr so this is the sixth so we'll use just two string method to print the elements in an array so it returns a string representation of contents of the specified array the array contains other arrays as elements are converted to strings by using 
object dot to string method so this is method 6 and next one is method 7 so in this method what we are going to do is we are going to use collectors dot to join method collectors dot joining method okay so let's see how to use this so the last method is collectors dot join method so string result equal to arrays dot stream of arr dot collect collectors dot joining and just give here comma space and finally print system dot out dot print and the result so here what we are doing arrays dot stream of arr dot collect collectors dot joining here we are giving the comma and finally what we are doing we are printing the result so what this does it creates the stream of elements it returns the sequential stream and what this collectors dot joining will do it returns a collector that concatenates the input element separated by specified delimiter in the encounter order uh, let's run the program and see the output so this is the last method seventh method if you see in the seventh, sixth method it printed like one comma two comma three and in the seventh method it printed one comma two comma three 